Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? And welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And on today's video, we're prepping basics for beginners. Yes, we're going back to the beginning. And maybe some of you are going to learn a little bit about this. And there are a lot of people out there that are jumping on board with this whole prepping revolution. That's what we're going to call this, the prepping revolution, because people want to be able to thrive and survive in any type of a given situation. People are sick and tired of seeing what happens and dealing with and going through. If there's a natural disaster, a cataclysmic event, what do they do now? Where do they go? Where are they, where are they going to get their next meal? How are they going to get water? They have all these questions and everything. And people are turning to places like YouTube, the internet, and everything else to figure out exactly how to get around this. Now, this is how you can do it, folks. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you some basic things that you need to start with and don't fall for the all the you know oh buy this kit and you know you get all this stuff for two three hundred bucks folks because you know if you're on a budget and everything else well that's not going to fly and more than likely you may not know how to use a lot of things that may be in those say quote bug out bags or totes that they want to sell you online and all this other stuff the best way to do it is, is to build your own. This way here, you put products in it to what you know how to use. You know how to utilize. You know how to work it, fix it, and everything else. You know how to cook those certain meals. You know how to what canned goods and stuff you want to do. You know how to use a basic first aid kit. You're not buying a trauma kit for a couple hundred bucks. You're not a surgeon, right? but you want to be able to tend to your kid's boo-boo, okay? You know, you got to fall back on what you know, how you know it, and you know how to use these SID products. It is very basic. This way here, you can survive and thrive through any situation that is out there that you're going to have to deal with that's going to come rolling down the pike. And trust me, folks, there's going to be more stuff coming. You need to plan ahead and everything that you plan for, rather it be a hurricane, tornado, um, it doesn't really matter, folks. You know, a blizzard, a volcano, depending on where you live, earthquakes and whatever else. You could just be sound asleep and all of a sudden a building collapse. You know, I mean, look what's happening all around us. And on that note, all those poor folks that were in that building, my heart and my prayers go out to all those families. Just because that's what we do. As preppers, we stick together. We try to back up people as much as we can. We try to support those types of things, those types of situations. And if you are a serious prepper, you know, you may be able to, in the end, lend a hand to a fellow brother, no matter what color they are. Enough with this, all this stuff that's going on with all this racial stuff and everything else. We're all created equal. I don't know if anybody reads the Bible or not, and if you don't, well, you just got a quick little Bible study. We're all created equal in the eyes of God, all right? Man, woman, and child. It doesn't matter what color you are, red, white, blue, brown, black, green, who cares, all right? In a time of need, that's when we all need to pull together. That's when we need to break out our supplies and try to help out people in a different situation. So on today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over some basic things that you want to make sure that you have in your home that I'm pretty sure most of you know how to use, how to cook, and everything else. And down the road, if you choose to start adding to, you want to advance in some things, maybe battery banks, maybe generators, solar, and all this kind of stuff, and you want to really get into that, well, you want to make sure that you know what you're doing and how you're going to do it. So let's get going on this video today. I'm going to reposition the camera here, and we're going to show you the basics of prepping for you people out there that are beginning. And some of you Seasoned preppers, please do me a favor. Comment in and put in there exactly what it is that you started prepping with. What was your number one prep that you started when you started prepping? So this is a question for all you preppers out there who have been prepping for a while. What is the number one 
prep that you started with. This way here, it'll give a lot of people that are beginning a great idea of where to start hearing it from you in this community that we have, this great community that we're building. And this way here, they have a nice stepping stone to get going and they can see that this is where they started. I'm going to start here too and start working my way up. And not just hearing it from me, they're hearing it from the community. So put in the comments below, folks. And this way here, everybody hopefully gets a little bit of information and learns exactly how to go about starting prepping. So here we go. Sit back, grab your coffee. Hope you enjoy. All right, folks. Now just remember, this ain't my first rodeo. I have been through a lot of different natural disasters, cataclysmic events. It ain't fun, so you got to be prepared. All right? Take my word for it. You want to be prepared. Things can go wrong in an instant. And if you're not prepared, well, it's a bad situation. So let's get going on the different types of things that you need to have, your basic things you need to have in your arsenal. We're going to start right over here. All right, Swanson Chicken Breast. Now you can get Walmart brand, any brand that you really want to get. So make sure that you get Chicken Breast. Now you're going to notice a lot of things that are on this table. As far as food products go, you don't even have to heat up. It's a perfect thing. This way here, if you don't have a way to cook during a natural disaster, during any type of an event, you can still eat. You just have to make sure you have a manual can opener, folks, because a lot of these things some of them do have pull tops, some of them don't. Tuna fish. Tuna fish is another great thing that you want to get. You can get the chunk light, solid tuna, whatever is on sale. That's what I buy. Uh, this way here, you got to maximize the deals because the prices on food and everything are going up as we speak, folks. Come right over. DAC hams. All right, they're great. You open them right up. They've got a very long shelf life and they're good to go. Same with the corned beef. As you can see, it says fully cooked. All you have to do is just open it up and eat it. Denny Moore beef stew. Chunky. Steak and potato. Now they have all different types. Beefaroni. All right. So if you do have kids and stuff, beefaroni is a good thing. You get some pasta, beef, sauce, and everything else, and you can open it right up. They have some of these have pull tops and some don't. Now these have the keys right on the side, so you can just pop those bad boys open. But your tuna fish and your chicken, you're going to need some way to open those. All right, come right up front here. Well, check that out. Everybody's favorite. Yes, let me get this right down there. Corned beef hash. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that love corned beef hash and always comment and everything else. So we have corned beef hash. You have your classic Spam. There's just no way around it. It has a very long shelf life. You can get a lot of different flavors. It has the pull top and everything else. Vienna sausages are another great thing. They have different flavors of those also. Hormel chili with beans so you're getting meat and beans and everything else all right now let's jump up here to some dry goods you want to make sure that you have like dry beans of any kind whatever it is that you guys like make sure that's what you're stocking up i have here that i have put in a marlar bag with oxygen absorbers everything else there's five pounds of flour so i can go ahead and i can make my own bread and everything else if i need to and use it for all different types of cooking purposes you endless of what you can do with flour it comes in handy for a lot of things. Rice is one of the number one staples you want to make sure that you are putting away. I've done extensive videos on rice and everything else. And you may want to go in and check some of those videos out. This one here does have an oxygen absorber in it. I do have rice stored this way. I have rice stored in Marlar bags and everything else. So it's all in what you can afford to do. The key here is you're putting up food that you need to have. Now let's move down through the vegetables. All right, now just because it's a, a disaster type situation or whatever else, you don't have to just stick with just green beans or something. As you can see here, I got asparagus. I have black bean fiesta. I have kidney beans, all right? Then we have your French style green beans, all right? You can get the cut green beans. You can get them with no salt, low salt, what, however you want to do it. Sliced potatoes, they have whole potatoes, chunk potatoes, it doesn't matter. And just because it is a disaster, well, you can always do Make sure you got some black olives. You might want to have a little treat or something. You know, sliced mushrooms, go right through. You got spinach, carrots. Now, you always want to make sure that you do have soups on hand. Reason being, if you're making some dishes and stuff, I did do a video, a cooking video, where I showed that I used, you know, the Campbell's 
soups and everything else to help make a dish in an emergency type situation. You know, cream of mushroom, broccoli and cheese, cream of celery, whatever it is that you choose that you may like. Now, one thing you may want to try to get a hold of, I don't know if you can still get these on the internet or not through Amazon. Last time I looked, they were out and they are very expensive, but this pure creamy butter, it's made in Australia. This stuff is phenomenal. It's in a can and it has a 10, 15 year shelf life, folks. So you might want to go on and check out and see what you can get. Now, let's move right on down the line here. Flashlights. All right, you want to make sure that you have flashlights. Now, I've had, I've done several different videos on flashlights. So that's just your standard. It's a metal flashlight and everything else. And that there is a headlamp. Now, you want to make sure that you do have at least one good quality flashlight in your home. If you want to buy the cheap ones that you can get in Walmart, you know, like the five pack for 10 bucks and whatever else that may get you through a little bit, but always have one good, sturdy quality flashlight in your arsenal. Something else you want to make sure that you do have is a knife. A, just a basic knife. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You can have one of these nice little knives right here, like a Swiss Army knife, or just a basic knife like this one right here. You know, neither one of them, if you get the basic models, are going to set you back a lot of money. Now, another thing to also remember here, buy yourself Bic lighters. Now, this way here, even if you don't smoke, you don't do anything else, but if you need to start a fire, a Bic lighter is the most reliable lighter on the market. Just make sure that you have at least a pack of these just on the chance that you need to light something and you have a Bic lighter because these bad boys light. doesn't matter for how cold it is, how hot it is, or anything else. They're going to light for you. They're going to do the job. And another thing you want to make sure that you try to pick up, a small emergency radio. This way you can get some basic information. That is the whole key to everything, is getting the information that you need for you and your family so that you can survive. You can pick these up on Amazon. They're very cheap. You don't need something that's like two, three hundred bucks. You can pick these up between twenty and forty dollars. That's all you need. And last on the list here, folks, well, your basic first aid kit. For most of you, that would probably do just fine just to have a basic first aid kit. You can buy them in Walmart, Kmart, um, Target. You can buy them online and everything else. You don't have to go out and get yourself a trauma kit and everything else. Make sure, unless you know how to use all that stuff, but make sure you have at least a basic first aid kit in your arsenal. This way here, if you do get a boo-boo or somebody, you're one of your kids or something, you have some way to take care of that and end the situation before it gets worse. So I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I just want everybody just to get prepared, be ready, thrive to survive. This has been Prepping Basics for Beginners once again. And also, don't forget, all you seasoned preppers out there, put in the comments below what was the first thing that you started prepping with. This way here, everybody gets an idea of exactly where to start and gives them kind of a push to get going on this before prices are just out of this world and you're no longer available to get some of these said products. Because in some stores, the shelves on certain items are getting bare because there's so many people out there that are prepping now because people are starting to wake up in this country and they see what is coming down the pike. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners and until next time folks, I will catch all of you on the flip side. First aid, baby. Make sure you get it. Mm -hmm.